Damn! <laughs> I'm back from my crazy night uh, and day. And I gotta tell you, I, I was not impressed by how they plan things. There was no ATM in the actual seafood festival that I was aware of. Everything had to be purchased with tickets. They wouldn't let you use your card or anything, which really kind of irritates me. And I'm gonna be honest with you, why? Because honestly, like, if you give them $40 and you don't spend all $40, they don't give you your money back. So if you don't use the tickets, they got to keep that extra money and it never got spent on anything, which I think is super unfair. I don't like the way that they did that. It was really, I don't know, it was bad. It was poor planning, I think. I think, I think I'm not happy with how they handled uh, that. Um, also, <sighs> my food was served cold. I specifically went there to get hot platter. I got, um, what did I get? I got fried fish and french fries. And I thought it was going to be good. I gave him $25 for three little strips of fish. And the fish hadn't, they didn't even pull the skin off before they deep fried it. So it was like super fishy. I pulled it all off. By the time I pulled the skin off of the fried catfish, there was like no meat left. It was gross. I was not happy. I was a very unhappy camper with my food experience there. Okay. Live music, great. Okay. But there's really nothing else to do there. I thought that was going to be a really, really fun thing. We got to the gate and we ended up spending $50 for three people to get in. This should have been a free event, people. I don't care. This should have been a free event, especially if you're charging $25 to $30 for a plate of food that's cold. This should have been a free event. Waters were $3, sodas were $3, and the drinks were crazy priced. So, I don't know. You know, three people to get in, 50. I spent $40 on food. Um, you know, my girlfriend went, she got, she spent $60 on food. I mean, dude, that's almost like, like by the time we were done, paid for parking, $10. We spent almost $200 just on food and getting in. That's insane. That's insane. $15 a person on a Saturday? Uh, you should be thankful that people even came out on a day this cold and this windy. You should have dropped the price. I mean, your first day was $10. Your second day, Saturday, was $15. And your third day is going to be $7. That doesn't make any sense to me. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. My overall experience was not good. Now, the reason I enjoyed myself is because I was with people that I cared about and I was having a good time with. But my overall experience at the festival was not good. It was not good. There were some super cool vendors there and a lot of the food did look good. Unfortunately, who I bought from, um, I'm very disappointed with who I bought my food from. Uh, so that, that restaurant, I shouted out in my video. I'm going to retract my previous statement because her plate of food was hot. She got good, hot, heated food. I ordered fried stuff. It should have come hot. I don't know. I don't know. It did not come fresh off the burner. It was old, dried out fish like it had been sitting around a while. I was not impressed in the slightest. I went there solely because I wanted good, hot seafood on a cold day, and I got screwed. So, yeah, there's that. So my overall thought process, and, and, and I'm, I'm going to run this video for you guys so you can see the whole video, but my overall assessment of <laughs> the seafood place in St. Petersburg was not good. It was not a good event. It was poorly thought out. I don't know. I don't know. For what we spent, it was totally not worth it. It was not worth it at all. This shit, guys, you're asking people to go out during COVID and and go to this thing and then you charge him an arm and a leg to get in and then you charge him an arm and a leg for food and then you charge him an arm like <clears throat> i literally didn't even want to buy any souvenirs none i wanted to buy no souvenirs because i was too busy already spending my money just to get into the festival so all you arts and crafts people you got screwed by whoever set up this event i, I would have been more wanting to spend my money on trinkets and little things had i not blown just almost a hundred dollars. No, mm -mm. it's crazy. It's crazy. So there's that. Mm. Yeah. So anyways, enjoy this video. Have fun. And I'll catch you guys on the flip. Toodles.
Yeah, this is a perfect day to test this wind muff and see what it pulls in. So we just got here. Then we get patted down by Shakurta. <laughs> they literally go through your stuff like TSA. Interesting. Oh yeah, so they got some really good ones here. Diamond polish, nice. So you can choose the birthing that's happening here. That's interesting, like half out the shell, just a head. That's kind of cool. That is awesome. That's the mom laying the eggs. Yeah, oh yeah. Huh? kind of neat so yeah we're actually seeing some pretty nice booths out here some of these people are very crafty and creative I have to give some shout outs this is uh, a lot of this work is awesome yeah Prince oh Freddie Mercury yes that's what I'm talking about Of course they got the live band over there. We're making our way around. This is actually not as big as I thought it was. I kind of sectioned off like a square of this place just for this. I still have yet to find the seafood though. We're working on that. This seems more like a seafood and then arts and crafts. <laughs> can we could just walk this way to get back I think we can yeah it's that one right there
What's going on, man? We're at the pier in St. Petersburg. This is awesome. Drops right off this paddock right onto the beach. How cool is this? This would be an awesome place to fly drones. <laughs> but yeah, these are uh, sand ports. This is pretty close. Let's see if we can dig up this little guy. They go pretty deep. The water is just kind of warming up. So just be careful. Huh? That's what that one was. What? Clam. Clam? Yep, see? Oh, you up his <laughs> That's all right. So He'll open up and dig himself out pretty soon. Boom. Yep. The coconut milk's already out of it. It wasn't a cured coconut. Oh. Still cool. Huh. Did you find any more or just that one? I think it was just that one that I found. Oh, we may want to take a little walk, see if we can actually find a full one. Well, it depends I don't want you to break your ankles. No, I'll be all right. I'll be just fine. <sighs> oh, we got a solid one with milk in it. It's it's tiny, but there's milk in it for sure, hundred percent. Yep. Let's smush this guy and see if it's white inside. Where's my good old rock here? Get a little one. All right. Well, now they're they're pretty hard still. Oh. We could have drunk. That. There goes the milk. You gonna drink it? Oh, it already exploded. Oh no, that one's bad too. But at least it's still if we keep looking though, you might find a good one. I literally just got coconut milk juice all over my leg. Look, it just exploded. I smell like old coconut. It smells fresh. Yeah, kind of. It smells like I just dehusked like 50, 50 coconuts. It smells fresh. Ooh. It's all over my pant leg. It just exploded. It was like, boom. Huh. Definitely for the place that I told you that I saw the owl. Yeah. Uh, a couple years back, I think it was like in 2018, 2018. <sighs> It's cold, but we're out here. That looks cool. Hey! <laughs> now we're Starbucksing it because it's cold out and we want something hot, so... Starbucks life. <laughs> oh wow these straws are something else here all right so this is weird tastes weird doesn't taste normal so the top was really really cold and then i guess it's supposed heat? to like heat that's because it was uh, the cream probably yeah. frozen frozen with cream or well, not frozen, I should say, just refrigerated whipped cream put on top. How's your uh, little uh, white stuff there on your chin? This is hot. Kids. Look, I found the Tree of Life from Disney. Right, isn't that, isn't that what that is? Hi. What's that? No, I was saying I found the Tree of Life from Disney. Ah, there you go. It looks like the, the yeah, it looks like the Disney tree. Oh, that's a real tree, though. <laughs> 
amazing. Sailboat? Yeah. Well, I want to climb it. That's all I know. <laughs> probably a climb of that. She's probably right about that. <laughs> well, we've officially mingled our way into the Bass Pro Shop to do some dude stuff. Um, I got three ladies around me today. They're kind of just tagging along with me through all my adventures. I'm having fun. They're having fun. We're gonna find a sleeping bag because we got more camping planned. So, there you go, boys. Take it in. Take in. Take in all that bass pro shop porn. Fishing pole porn. Mm. And they got fish in the tanks. Go check this out. I think, can I switch my camera around? I think. Boom. There you go. Well, they got some awesome fish in here. Oh, they got a needle nose. That's cool. This fish are like life sucks. Heck yeah. <laughs> Gotta love Bass Pro Shop. Place for manly man. Manly man. Manly man.